So uh, Polkadot is really the first of its kind. It's a platform for creating trust-free systems, not unlike smart contract platforms, but it really aims to give um, uh, much um, uh, greater uh, technical guarantees, technical uh, facilities in terms of flexibility, performance, and uh, the underlying security. Um, it's, I think, not tremendously um, uh, unreasonable to compare the sort of uh, uh, transactions per second. Bitcoin here with, realistically, it's somewhere between two and four transactions a second. I put five because it, it has managed to get up there. Uh, but realistically, at the base level, without any tricks, no lightning um, uh, network, no ZK snarks or start tricks or, you know, at its basic level of computational performance, um, which can obviously be increased uh, and improved uh, across all chains uh, by using these tricks. Uh, but at the base level performance, we're looking at around five transactions per second for Bitcoin and not very much programmable functionality, about 25 transactions per second for Ethereum, um, but obviously with much more program uh, programmable functionality, although the more you use it, the worse it becomes. Um, Kusama, um, about a thousand on its base chain transactions per second with the programmable functionality, um, being much, much more um, um, uh, well, highly performant. Um, I mean, it's, this is the programmable functionality that we're looking at. This is using a, a WebAssembly base layer, which I'll go into in a second. Polkadot, because it has the parachains, and Kusama will eventually have parachains, but I'm sort of talking about Kusama right now. Polkadot, once it has the parachains, will be scaling up to maybe 100,000, um, up to maybe a, a million uh, transactions per second. And I'll quickly talk about that. Um, how will it do that? 1,000 transactions per second on the parachain, 100 parachains, 100,000 transactions a second. 100 is probably quite conservative. We've done some design upgrades. Probably Probably it's going to be, I think, it might get up to maybe even 200 uh, parachains. Um, and there's all sorts of further optimizations that we can do in terms of the database and I.O. Um, uh, storage layer, uh, the WebAssembly interpreter layer. This is all fundamentally um, um, on a, a meta protocol platform, which means it's upgradable. Um, and also multi-threading, we do aim to, to bring in multi-threading to this, which will allow um, much better use of these sort of six, eight core um, 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 CPUs that we're seeing um, um, uh, increasingly um, prevalent.